fifth grade. So today we are going to be looking at quatrains. Now this is a type of poem structure that we've actually looked at before, but we used it in the context of looking at rhyme patterns. If you remember rhyme patterns include something like A B A B, A B B A, where the first rhyme is set by the letter A always, and the next line, if it rhymes with the first, would be A as well. But if it doesn't, then you'd switch it and mark it as B. So for example, if my first line was, my dog is Colby Bear, and the second line was, he really likes to snuggle. Snuggle and bear don't rhyme, so it would be A for bear and B for snuggle. But if the line said, my dog is Colby Bear, he has a lot of hair, it would be A, A. So we worked on that last year. A bunch of you thought that was it was a very funny one. It was the one that had strips of lines where it was like, I like can't, I like pop, I just can't stop. I love um, candy, I think it's dandy. Uh, something about calories and you guys had a little song about it. Well, might jog your memory, but today we're gonna be looking at the actual poem style that uses those four lines. So a quatrain coming from a base meaning four has four lines of poetry. Poem with four lines that rhyme. So there has to be some sort of rhyme in there. If it was just A, B, C, D, not a quatrain. So it can't have each end uh, does not rhyme with one of them. Now, it could be that all four lines rhyme. A, 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 A. If I went, uh, my dog is Colby Bear, he has a lot of hair, um, he doesn't mean to stare, and Oh no, he ate a pear, <laughs> like something goofy. I could have each of the lines rhyming with each other, or you could shake it up and have them stagger, like A, B, A, B, or A, B, B, A. So, I want to talk you through a little bit of the process of writing a quatrain, and maybe um, you can start on some of your own ideas. You are going to be, as part of your assignment, writing your own two quatrains in a little bit. So, first thing set up my computer here so I can check. First thing, choose a topic. So if I was going to write, get my markers, if I was going to write about Colby, I could say, okay, well, I want to write about my dog. Oh my gosh, I want to sell my dog's name. Colby. Or maybe I want to write about, hmm, lunch, because I'm hungry. Or... I could write about quarantine, which, eh, but there's a lot to work with, so. <laughs> Another reason I wanted to do quatrains is because it's, it's basically I rearranged the word uh, quarantine. If I just switch it around a little bit, switch around quarantine a little bit, and I get quatrain and just take off a letter or two. Extra fun. Second thing would be choose a rhyme scheme. Now, you don't have to choose one in advance. You would get some ideas and then decide what you want your rhymes to be, but it might give you a nice idea of kind of where your poem's going to go if you have a sense of what kind of rhyme you want it to have. So if I'm going to do A, B, A, B, well then maybe I might want to start with, um, you know, my dog is Colby Bear. He loves to come up, jump and snuggle. He has a lot of hair. But then I'm like, oh, okay, well, what's well, going to rhyme with snuggle? It might give you a sense of what rhymes you need to have. What words are you going to need to find rhymes for if you keep going? So maybe I want to do A, B, B, A. Maybe I'm just going to pick one. You can always change it later. So maybe I'm going to do Colby, or I'm going to do lunch, and I'm going to do A, B, B, A, and just see how that goes. So, then brainstorm some rhyming words. All right, well, um, I already got bear and hair for my first idea. Uh, lunch could be just the word lunch, munch, crunch. Got some good food eating words in there that would work out well. Um, let's see. Quarantine, uh, read, um, hmm, but then I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do with that one. Maybe I'll do reading, needing, 
Hmm. Stuck. Block. Hmm. Maybe I'll go back over to Colby. Jump. Lump. Hmm. Lunch. Eat. Sweet. So I can just throw in words for each of my ideas, just have some things down, and that way when I go to actually start writing my poem, I've got a few things just already sitting there, floating around in my brain. So, this is my ideas for my three. You're going to be writing your three. I think I might have actually said two before, it's three. Um, you're going to be writing your three. I'm letting you do on whatever topic you want. Does not have to be mine. If I get yours and yours is about Kobe, lunch, and quarantine, that's not necessary. Then you're going to construct your quatrain and you can rearrange it if you'd like. So, let me jump into one. I'm going to have to turn this slightly down so you can see more. There we go. I wonder... Ooh, I wonder if I can lay this down. I just had an idea. Join me for an adventure, friends. Oh, okay. I'm going to set my phone here. See if I can write while you're looking at me. Maybe a little bit. All right, we'll try it. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go with, hmm, I'll go with quarantine to start. See it? No. Hmm. Let's slide it over. <laughs> All right, slide it over so you guys can see right here. There we go. I want to skip some of the, I had some more rhyming ideas earlier. So I'm feeling out of luck because inside I'm stuck. And I was going to do something with reading and meeting, but I might switch that up. Um, hmm. Something about still having books, or at least I still can read. Um, all right, I've got it. Until we all <laughs> are freed, at least I still can read. All right, so there's my quarantine. There's my quarantine poem. So, I've chosen my rhyme scheme, and I actually switched it up from what I originally put. I put A, B, B, A, but now I'm doing A, A, B, B. Now, could I easily rearrange this poem? Yes, I could switch it and have it say, I'm feeling out of luck. Oh, wait, no, I see. Hmm... This one would be a harder one to switch, actually, looking at it now. If it said, I'm feeling out of luck until we all are freed, because inside I'm stuck, at least I could- Oh yeah, that works! I'm feeling out of luck until we all are freed, because inside I'm stuck, at least I still can read. 
So that one actually works, uh, it might even be better than the original one. So I can rearrange it and have A, B, A, B. And have it still kind of work as like a smooth, funny poem. So here's my first one. Quarantine Blues. That's my first idea. Now, I know that this one, this video seems sort of like, oh, as we go, but I wanted to be brainstorming with you guys. So I didn't plan my poems in advance. I want to be able to think of it on the spot. That way you can be sitting and thinking with me too. So if you have some ideas, you can be working on yours right now while we're working together on these. I'm going to try and cope with another one. So go ahead, clear your mind, get out some of your ideas, even pause this if you'd like to, and then keep brainstorming with me. Once again, though, I don't need to be get- if this one comes in one of your- if you send me your three and this is one of them, that's goofy, this is mine. You can write about quarantine, that's fine. But it shouldn't be the exact same poem as what I wrote. I will notice, I do read them all. So. Got this one here. Ooh, I just realized. I, w I hope you can hear me properly. Hopefully you've been hearing me properly. I should <laughs> go back and watch that part and make sure. Um, maybe I'll set my thing back up again to brainstorm, some, to brainstorm another one. I liked you being able to see what I was writing, though. It's a lot easier for me to write on when it's, when it's flat down. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's think about another topic. So, I did quarantine. That was my idea for that one. Maybe I'll go for something simpler. I'm gonna write about something that I've been enjoying a lot recently, which is ice cream. It is my absolute favorite treat. I, as you guys know, I try to eat very healthy, but ice cream is the one thing I do want to indulge in. So let me set this up and I'll make an ice cream poem. Now, ice cream, as people have written a lot of poems out before, has some very easy rhyming words. Let's get some of those down. Clear some space here. Well, we already have some that would fit in with what I already had written for lunch, which would be sweet, treat, eat. Those are pretty standard. Um, so cream itself. Cream can go with dream. Hmm. Ice cream. I love to eat ice cream. Ice cream. No, but what do I like in my ice cream? I'm trying to think of some other words I'd want to include. I love Oreo. That's a bit of a tough one to rhyme, so maybe that could be in the middle of one of my lines. I love peanut butter. Hmm. And I like brownie. So none of these three would be super easy to rhyme. So remember, you don't want to make it hard on yourself. If you throw one of those at the end of the line, or, or something that you know doesn't have a rhyme. So I'm like, my favorite color is orange. And you're going to be sitting there for a while trying to figure out how to rhyme something. Instead, you could say, orange is my favorite color. And then try to rhyme something there and make it a little bit easier on yourself. So if I throw a brownie at the end... Then I'm going to have to make a forced rhyme, which is when you take another word and kind of switch it up. So if I said, um, I love my ice cream with brownie, when there isn't any, it makes me frowny. <laughs> and then your poem will just be a little more silly if you have to do something like that. But let's see. So I've got... Um, I'm going to call it Time for a Treat. You see me? Eh, close. I'll prop it up on my legs for you to see. There. <laughs> that. All right, time for a treat. So do something with ice cream. Hmm. Maybe I can make a joke sort of about the quarantine thing. Because there's definitely days where I'm like, I deserve a treat. And I haven't even done that. You know, I'm just doing normal stuff. So let's see. Um, I deserve a treat. It's time for some ice cream. Hmm. A 
scoop for me to eat. Or two. Hmm. Or two. That'd be a dream. Anybody see my whole poem? There we go. I deserve a treat. It's time for some ice cream. A scoop for me to eat, or two. That'd be a dream. <laughs> there. Let me make a little. I've got this one now and let's look at the rhyme scheme check it off of what we have up top so if I'm gonna go with this one I've got a which is always the first rhyme so treat does not rhyme with cream that means that's B up oh, or back to a and B so last time I started with a a b b now I've got a b a b could I rearrange it let's see I deserve a treat a scoop for me to eat it's time for some ice cream or two that'd be a dream now that one doesn't quite work as well because I don't have these right next to each other. What I could do is actually rearrange the lines entirely and say, I deserve a treat, um, a scoop from, oh wait, I could rearrange it completely. I deserve a treat, a scoop for me to eat, or two, that'd be a dream, it's time for some ice cream. So now I've rearranged the whole thing to A, A, B, B, and I switched some of the lines just to make sure it flows more smoothly. So as you go, you should find that each of your quatrains could easily be slightly rearranged and still kind of work as a poem. So it makes them very flexible poems. So quick review. Poems, the four lines that rhyme is, are called quatrains. Rhyme patterns can be a range of different ones, A, B, A, B, A, B, B, A, 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 B, B. Um, a, 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 all work. Now, there can be no B, 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 B because the first line is always marked A rhyme. It's the first rhyme that comes up, and then after that, it's just looking to see does each one rhyme with it or not. So, A, does the next one rhyme? No, B. Does the next one rhyme with either of them? No, C. <laughs> and continue on. Your poem, the most it could be different wise, would be A, B, C, A. You have to have at least one rhyme in it for it to be a quatrain. Think. All right. So choose a topic. I came up with a few. You can come up with anything you'd like. Choose a rhyme scheme just to have an idea in your mind of where you want to go. Brainstorm some rhyming words that fit in with your topic and then start constructing your quatrain. You might have a new idea once you get started. I did. I switched some of my words out for the first one and this one. Um, if you watch the first one and somehow my sound is weird, I'm sorry, <laughs> but the main gist of what I said was I didn't plan these poems in advance. I wanted to be able to brainstorm in front of you so you could see the way that I would come up with a poem. This is not something that you have to be a language arts teacher to do. Poems are for everyone. Writing is for everyone. So as you go through and pick out your topic, think of words that you know go with it and that start find some that rhyme just to make it a little easier on yourself and build your poem. That being said, if you send me three poems and all three of them have the same sort of rhymes in there, like, um, I don't know, I can't even think, I can't even think of a repetitive one. But if you're, if you said, if you use treat and sweet in every single poem, because one poem is about ice cream, and one poem is about a brownie, and the other poem is about a cookie, mm, I think you need to set, um, range out a little bit. I want you to pick some different things and mix it up. So maybe, like me, you could write one about your dog, or you could write one about, um, Oops, how you're enjoying uh, riding your bike or your favorite show right now. Um, maybe about cooking or crafting or whatever it is that you're enjoying doing while you're home. So pick a different topic, go for it. You could even write one pretending that you're not at home. <laughs> write about something that you would be doing right now if you didn't have to be home and uh, see what you can come up with. So I'm really excited to read your poems. You're sending me three in your Google document. So three quatrains, three little rhyming um, poems of four. Remember, I am reading them, so if you send me one of my own, I'm gonna recognize it and know that you didn't actually try to write your own. But I think you guys will, you're very creative. I'm excited to see what you come up with. If you want to send me one of yours and then show it to me rearranged, you can. 
but that only counts as one of your poems. So make sure that you're sending me three different ones, not the same one rearranged three times. Okay? If you have any questions, like always, please email me or message me on the Remind app. I'm happy to help you. If you aren't sure about something with the quatrains or you need to watch me go through the brainstorming process again, rewind back and you can watch me do that with each of my two poems, Time for a Treat and Quarantine Blues. And um, I hope that you have enjoyed this little mini lesson, building on something that we started off with last year, doing uh, rhyme patterns. Bye, fifth grade!